Hey, I'm Johnny Reed, and you are watching Take Two on Juno TV. Country album of the year, and the Juno goes to... What the f***? It's Johnny Reed! I think, I think my, the most memorable Juno moment to date for me was winning my first Juno. It, it was, it was, uh, it was something I was not expecting. Everybody, everybody around me usually, man, you, you're going to win this, man. I mean, no one sold as many records as you. You know, you're going to win this. But I've learned through the years that, you know, that's not the case. You know, so I sat there and it was one of the things I kept telling people, oh, I'm just glad to be nominated. You know, but really, the truth be told, I really wanted to win it. Like I really did, not for myself. As much, as for all the people that have worked so hard on my behalf. Thanks very much. Uh, best country album. Needless to say, I originally came from a different country. <laughs> but I'd like to say thank you very much for uh, wrapping your arms around me and welcoming me to Canada in 1988 and allowing me to be part of such a wonderful musical community. Thank you very much. There's, uh, there's far too many people involved in the success of this record to thank individually, so I would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone involved collectively. I truly appreciate your talents, all your hard work, your dedication, but most of all, I appreciate your time. I have learned a, a very valuable lesson this past year, um, that time is very important to everyone, so I appreciate your time. You know, for the people that showed up and, and December at some wee pub in Winnipeg, you know, and sat, they were the only people there, and they looked up and they came up to me after the show and they would say, hey, you're going to make it. Like, I, I thought about the people in that moment, you know, I, I was like, you know something, I owe it to that woman to allow her to watch her telly, watch her TV, and say, I know it, I was right. You know, I felt like that. So I was sitting there and I'm like, oh, God, this would be brilliant if I could just win this, you know. And then when they read my name, um, I, had, I, I felt like I, uh, it's a kind of crazy feeling, but I kind of felt like I, I had arrived. I had felt like, okay, I'm here. As a wee boy growing up in Glasgow, Scotland, I had dreams of uh, telling my stories, playing my music and singing my songs. Uh, it's taken a long, a long time to get up to here to accept this wonderful award. But I have enjoyed every moment and I thank every single soul and every heart that has helped me along the way. God bless you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, it was a, it was a very special moment for me, so uh, definitely something I'll never forget. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, right, I'm pushing play. Oh my goodness. Right. So I have to tell you, before I went, walked on stage, I spilled this big drink all over my t-shirt. So I'm actually wearing nothing under this white jacket. And I was sweating my arse off on stage. I could have probably afforded to lose a few pounds before this, this shoot, you know. They say the camera puts about 10 pounds on you, but here it looks like there's about seven or eight cameras on me, you know. <laughs> now this is me. I look like a bullet in this one, look at me. Yes, oh I love this. This was wonderful. This was definitely one of the one of the highlights for me uh, in Canada, being able to sing for this many people. Uh, we are my friends on stage, singing a song that means means the world to me, which is today I'm going to try and change the world. You know, amazing, great. Well, thanks for taking me a walk through the past. Right. Jeez, the frosted tips were good though. It was a different time. It was a different. Listen, you can't judge a man for that. You know what I mean? I was just trying to enjoy my hair while I have it. You know? The last, guy, <laughs> the last one.